my bag time again. Let's get stuck into it. Got a few things here. Don't know what half this stuff is, but we'll find out. As always, there'll be links down below for things I'll give you links for. Oh, that's a bit messier than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> it seems to be a few LEDs. I normally complain about things coming in bags, but I think this time would have been useful. So these look like RGB LEDs because they've got four legs. I don't remember. I don't remember buying any RGB LEDs. I guess I must have done though. Oh, there we go. This more like it. Something in a bag. It's a basis USB C cable. USB C, USB C. Nothing too exciting there. It's probably like a two meter cable or something, like maybe one meter. I don't know. Anyway, a bit for this thing. You always want nice cables, and bases do make good cables. They seem to anyway. So I'm going to have to go away from Ram Knife for this one. This is uh, going to require something more serious. There we go. Yeah, we can go back to Ram Knife. It doesn't fold up. Ah, oh, right. Batteries. So I purchased a bunch of batteries as spares. These are for the Baofeng BF S, which I purchased not long ago. I got those from Amazon. I'm trying to get batteries and stuff, I don't know what it was, but anyway. So I purchased five spare batteries. These are 1500 hours, which are the same as the original ones. So this means I can um, have all these charged up, ready to go when I'm at an event and I can just change them out and just swap them out instead of having to charge the actual handhelds up each time because I've got eight handhelds so I've got five of these batteries here as spares lovely of course I don't know if those batteries actually are the real capacities of course I could test them um, I don't really feel the need to test them I think I'm just going to charge them up and hope for the best those batteries were from AliExpress as well not Amazon I think you probably can get them on Amazon as well Oh look, some little panda key rings. Oh look, some more batteries. So these ones are supposedly 3300 mAh. Right, so these ones are supposed to be higher capacity. Do they weigh more? You'd think a higher capacity weigh more, wouldn't you? I'm going to go and weigh them and see what they actually weigh. So these supposedly higher capacity battery packs weigh exactly the same as a standard battery pack. So this is what my suspicion was, is that these high capacity packs are probably fake and they aren't actually the capacity they claim they are. You know, you think a higher capacity pack would actually weigh more. So I think of those basically, they change them by putting a different sticker in and that's probably it. <laughs> are the packs themselves identical? Let's have a look. So I can see any moulding differences here. There's moulding differences here. This slot is different. So it's not exactly the same manufacturer. Yeah, this end here is different as well. So they aren't exactly the same. It's not from the same mould. It's a copy of the mould. So it's probably a different manufacturer. Different stickers. Although made to look very similar. You know, well this part here is very similar. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to call these 1500s as well. I wasn't really too worried about that part of it. I may test one. And as it, if it doesn't meet the spec. As it doesn't meet this rating. I might be able to get the money back on them and actually, you know, because they are being falsely advertised. Potentially. I think that's going to be the case. But uh, anyway, we'll see how it goes. But I, I was sceptical about the ratings in the beginning. I didn't think they would be real. I just wanted some packs. And I thought, oh, I'll just give it a go, see what happens. But the fact that they weigh the same amount means they probably are fake. Look at this. This one will be hard to get with the ram knife, so let's do it this way. Right, this is a review item from Banggood. So I will be doing a full video on this thing. So if you see a oscilloscope, 3 one oscilloscope. So it's got like a transistor tester and a scope function and things like that in it. Thought it might be a nice little universal tester. 
I don't know. I don't know how good it is. I really don't know. I mean, we'll have to wait and see till we did a view. But it's fairly compact. Still sealed in here. We'll be doing a screen peel, so I have to be getting excited about that. <laughs> it's got a little ZIF socket for the transistor tester. That's nice. It's got a little stand as well. Anyway, we'll do a review on this thing. That may even come out before this video, so... It's actually quite likely I would have published a review before this mailbag comes out because of me being so far in mailbags. Go back in time before I recorded this video and watch a review of me testing it before I received it. Okay? Click subscribe right now, quick, before you forget. Portable USB 3 interface drive. Let's see if it survives the trip okay. Seems to oh, look at that, it's got a. That's nice. That design, that's really cool. Integrated cable holder. Wow, that's actually nicely done. You just want to run it through the back, you can do that. So, yep, yeah, there you go, USB 3 connector. Checking the pins, yep, there's at least five pins in there. And this is basically a laptop drive, right? So it's a DVD drive. Now I needed to get this for my computer because my computer is now a Mac Pro 2013. Before that I was using a Mac Pro 2010, which has loads of drives. It's even got two CD drive bays, which I've got DVD writers in both of them. Since I changed to the 2013 model, there are no drives. There's no disk drives at all. <laughs> You've got the internal SSD, that's it. And so I need to sometimes read or write drives. So I need to get myself a drive unit. So I've done a couple of things. One of those things was to buy a um, external drive case so I can actually transplant one of my existing DVD drives into an external case, five recorder case, which I showed in the previous mailbag. And I also want to get one of these. Let's just see how this goes, um, using one of these laptop style drives. I don't know how good this drive actually is, you know, the worst case, you can always swap this drive out with another one, which you know to be good. You know, you've got a nice external case to put one in, you know, so you can just swap the drive. It's obviously going to be a size of drive or something. You know, especially DVD rewritable, compact disc rewritable, ultra speed. So, I mean, it should be ad completely adequate anyway. I doubt there's any real specs on this thing, but, yeah. Excellent. Got one of those things. Doesn't have much in the box about what it actually is. Oh. It's also got an adapter. It's got a USB-C to USB-3 adapter. Products is a tray loading, not tray. It's a tray loading. <laughs> Panel of everything, of course it is, because it's an external drive. As long as your writer software works. Yeah, just tells you how to use it. It's nothing really about specs. Doesn't really say much. Um, one of my drives is actually a Blu-ray drive, so I'll put the Blu-ray run in the other external case that I've got. So. So I'll give you an adapter, but there's no way to store the adapter. That's a shame. This bit, which is really nice, could have done another little one for this adapter, couldn't they, really? It's a shame. Missed opportunity. Didn't mind. But at least I got one. Nice. Be handy. Check out the other videos down below. Subscribe over there if you're not already subscribed. Click subscribe right now. Quick. Before you forget. And Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. Having to buy things in mailbag or bits of test gear to fix. Catch you later.